In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a package with a package protection level of encrypt sensitive with password and run it as a job under the SQL Server agent. This is a great way to protect sensitive information in packages once the package is ready to run in your production environment. Now I'm going to open a package that has the protection level set to encrypt sensitive with password. So I'll open that up and you can see it's asking me for a password to even open it in Visual Studio. So I open that. And now I'll show you the setting. So I'm clicking on the right mouse clicking on the project and I go to properties. And there you can see the protection level is encrypt sensitive with password. And in order to change it to that setting, I also had to set the property in the package to encrypt sensitive with password. And there you can see it. I needed to have sensitive information in the package to do this demonstration. So I set up the OLEDB connection manager to use SQL Server authentication and set up a password and username. And I have saved my password checked there. That's set up properly. I'll make sure it gets saved and I'll execute it from Visual Studio first to just show that it works and it does. So I'll stop debugging. Stay tuned to see how I execute the package as a job under the SQL Server agent. Now I'm going to open up the command prompt and paste in the um, command to execute the package. I just wanted to execute the command from the command prompt before setting it up under the SQL Server agent to make sure I had the command formatted properly. So there you can see the command and um, the forward slash DE is short for decrypt. And uh, there's my password. So I execute it and it was successful. So again, I can run it from a different user account uh, just by supplying the password because I have the protection level set to encrypt sensitive with password. And of course, what we ultimately want to be able to do is to execute the package as a job under the SQL Server agent. So I'm going to show you how to set that up now. So I right mouse click uh, down here on jobs, which is under SQL Server agent. And then I select new job. And then I give it a name. I'll call it demo with password. And I change the owner to SA. And then I'll go to the steps. And I go down here and click on new. And I'll give it a name, step one. And then type. In the type property, I select operating system command exec. And then I leave run as SQL Server agent service account. And then I'm going to make this big so you can see I'm pasting in the exact same command that I ran from the command prompt. So now I just click OK to close that. And OK again. And now if I right mouse click on the job, I can just say start job at step and it's going to start at the only step that's in there. And it was successful. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.